Hi, this is Chris Wall at The Wall Network. Today I'm going to show you how to enable user accounts to access the configuration for single sign-on or SSO. Now in front of you I've logged on as my Bob Sponge user. He's an administrator in the vSphere client uh, and if I go to vCenter server and we pull up the the only one that's here, the Wall Network vCenter server and manage the permissions, long little rabbit hole here we can see that uh, Bob Sponge here, he's a full administrator. He has absolute authority over vCenter and all the children objects uh, through propagation. Now, the problem with that is if I go back and go to administration, you'll notice that single sign-on to discovery, which should have a configuration option underneath it, is blank. So you might be wondering, what's the problem here? Well, that's because even though Bob Sponge is a full administrator of the vCenter server and the environment on vSphere, he doesn't have any access to do anything with single sign-on itself. So let me switch over to my Chris account which has full access and I'll show you how to configure that. So here I'm logged on as my Chris account up here and if I go to administration, ah, there it is, you can see this user account has full access to see the configuration for single sign-on. So what, what gives here? You know, I've got my domain added, what's the deal? Well if you go to SSO users and groups up here under access uh, there's a groups tab right here and there's a special group it looks like two underscores in the word administrators uh, that's part of the system domain uh, domain and this these are the people that can do full administration of SSO now in an earlier video presentation whatever uh, I actually added domain admins from glacier.local to be a principal of this group so now I've added a AD group to the administrators group however the Bob Sponge account isn't a domain administrator. It's not part of that group. So I have two options, really. I could add more groups uh, to here, more more entities here, so that they become administrators of SSO, or I could add Bums, Bob Sponge to be a domain admin. I don't really want to make Bob Sponge a domain admin. I just want to give him access to SSO. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I've got the administrators group up here selected, and there's a man with a plus sign by his face. That's the add principles uh, button. I will say it's kind of weird. You might think to use the pencil or something, but if you use the pencil, there's uh, for the edit. There's really nothing here. You gotta hit the man with the plus sign for add principles. Now I'm gonna change the identity source to the Glacier account, which is my Active Directory domain, and I'm gonna go ahead and save myself a little bit of time and put in Bob here just to find Bob. So there's Bob Sponge, and we're gonna add him as a principal of this account. You'll notice that changes down there, and now Bob Sponge should have full administrative authority over SSO. So we're going to make a change here and switch to Bob Sponge. And we'll refresh this session here. And in fact what I might have to do is go ahead and just log them all the way off and all the way back on. So let's log off Bob Sponge and watch the fancy VMware logo fill up. And let me log on as Bob Sponge. There we go, log in. And then we'll take a gander and see if the SSO configuration is available. And there it is. Now I can go into SSO and perform configuration. And this is kind of handy because I typically don't like to be logging in as the admin at system-domain account all the time. I'd rather just give myself the authority to do that or a group to do that. So now you're armed with the knowledge. Go out and uh, conquer your SSO config and enjoy. Thank you for watching this video. If you found the information valuable, make sure to click the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos on my channel, please become a subscriber. For more articles on technical solutions and home lab building, achieving certifications, and so on, head on over to wallnetwork.com. Thank you.